<laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. We're back at Doctor Who, finally. Yes. We took a short break to watch some Sarah Jane, mm -hmm. of which we really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. And it's a bright, sunny day outside, which <laughs> means it can only be a Christmas special. Yes. Uh, you're in your dressing gown. Yes. Yeah. That's been that was our tradition, but I completely forgot about it. You remembered. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, this is Christmas summer edition. <laughs> even, even though it's, it's spring. <laughs> so, we know the title. You do know the Voyage title. Voyage of the Damned. What do you know about this one? I know that it's in... It's like a space Titanic. Obviously, we saw a little bit at the end of... Uh, yeah, last, last time we saw the Doctor. So, uh, yeah. Are you ready? Uh, this is slightly extended. It's about an hour and ten minutes. Ah. Very extended, yeah, yes. It's like 70 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. As okay. opposed to the usual 45, yeah. Okay. I'd better <laughs> expand the um, silence. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Yeah, you can even see the stars up there. And continue. Yeah, we've seen that about three times now. <laughs> we really have. Oh, we've not seen that, have we? No. Repairing the TARDIS from the inside. More angel-like things. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christmas. <laughs> Indy, again, for the third time. Ooh, new theme variation. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, they were tenants. Oh, yeah! Kylie Minogue is in this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I kind of remember that a little bit. By Russell T. Davies. I'm sure I'll warm to it quickly. Yeah, James Strong. We've not seen him in a while. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's like a... Yeah. Like a slightly futuristic. It's like enlightenment, but... Oh, yeah. A little bit. Tronics. An Edwardian racing yacht. A spaceship. A silent line. Do you recognise Jeffrey Palmer? Not him, the other guy. Oh, the captain. We talked about Jeffrey Palmer, because Charles Palmer is related. Oh. The director. And but Jeffrey Palmer was in the Silurians and in the Mutants, and he's in this playing the captain. Right. Yeah, that's Kylie. Oh, I remember information. Yeah. It's that's like Zen, isn't it? <laughs> information? Information! Oh, like the wings, like, conceal the wiring. Or something. Excuse me, but, uh, no. What oh, gosh. Well, it's all sorts of stuff happened last time. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you're yeah. It's, it's been, been about ten minutes since Martha walked out, which is a bit weird. Yeah, that's what it is, but it doesn't feel like that. It's been, like, <laughs> a month since we watched Last of the Time. <laughs> Do you recognise him? I did a little bit. He was in Revelation of the Daleks. That one with the Colin? Yeah, yeah. He was the, the really uh, horrible scientist guy at the uh, uh, funeral. Oh, that. Yeah. I've got teleport bracelets as well. Oh my gosh! Ah. Oh. And I'm just waiting. What? Oh, now spending money. Hello there. Sorry, obvious question. But hi, man. We're getting all sorts of familiar faces, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know there are giant spiders in the escort? This year. Uh, uh, I'm expecting a Blake Seven actor to turn out. <laughs> didn't expect Bernard Cribbins, did you? No, I can't say. Yeah. Oh no! I think that was Murray Gold up there. 
And oh. that, that microphone was magpie. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't have time to think no, one thing before another. Information, you are all going to die. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, that this suit is really unlucky. <laughs> it's even got the same one in the Cyberman one. Oh, yeah. And the yeah. party was crashed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yep, yeah, all fine. Ah, that's... And, and the approximate whales. Yeah. Cardiff. <laughs> oh. Some glitch. You notice how they're like the robots in Robots of Death. Yeah. Kill the doctor. Kill the doctor. But the captain. Jeffrey Palmer. He did it. Gonna save your lives and all six billion people on the planet below. Yeah. The host of Milwaukee bath, that's brilliant. Tell her to come. Yeah, you might not want that. Oh. Just keep them busy, like, continuously with no pauses in between. <laughs> a few years ago, I sort of made. Well, sort of homes and, um. A few years ago. <laughs> ah, yes. In the heart of the chip. The obligatory uh, yeah. chasm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this You're is a lot like the end of the world, like, right? <laughs> you think about it. Oh! Gosh! Wow. Ah. The cricket expertise will come in handy now. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is what Black Orchid was building up to. <laughs> More like baseball, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's thing. just that we've seen the like to play cricket. Oh. Oh no, what? <laughs> oh. That <laughs> was it. You're ah. coming with me. Oh. And yeah, now we can just run across it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one of them, so. Oh, gosh. Yep. Questions to save my life, alright? Information. Correct. And that was one. Oh, that wasn't one of them. I didn't mean to go. Yeah. Can I start again? Take me to your leader. I've always wanted to say that. Surprised he's not already. <laughs> I think he probably has at some point, don't you think? Hmm. I can't think of No, not off the top of my head, though. They are so much like the Blake 7 ones. That has got to be. The. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah. And I should know, because my name is Max. Ah. It really does that. The hell is this? <laughs> I'm the doctor, aren't I? You're giving me so much good material, like how to get ahead in business. See? Head? Head? Head in this? No? <laughs> Mr. Capricorn! Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a bit silly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> all of a sudden it's a 
2000s action film. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> that is. Mm. Yeah, that kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> hmm. Oh. And he's got hosts. Oh, I guess this is how. I guess he rewired them. I mean, hey, it works. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure that is you. <laughs> is this still away? away. <laughs> what? That's something else I've always wanted to say. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's that's actually. I don't know. He's been, he has been wanting to say that, hasn't he? Hmm. I thought he would be the next highest authority. Oh, here we go. Atmosphere burn through. Wait, isn't it meant to destroy the whole world, or did they disable that? Yeah. yeah. The city of London has escaped alien intervention. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> Just give it a couple <laughs> of minutes, yeah? Oh, is it headed there? Well, I mean, if it's going to destroy the world, it's going to destroy gotta, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, it's got to land on Buckingham Palace. Exactly. Oh, yeah? yeah. Ooh. Ah, okay. Just a bit. Wait. Oh, yeah, the phone call, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Your good friend, the Doctor, is letting you know that I'm the Titanic's about to crash. Yeah, and I'm not sure standing outside would have actually helped, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Well, Get out of there, you'll be fine, just stand, like, no. N neither would have, I don't know. I think, yeah, they, I, yeah. But, you know what? No, no one's it's being fine destroyed. Anyway, yeah. No one's being destroyed. Luckily we avoided that. Yeah, oh! Oh, the imagery. <laughs> painting <laughs> falls down again. Ah, there is the top. <laughs> well. A million pounds were enough for trinkets. Mr. Culver, a million pounds is worth 50 million credits. Rest in peace. All I saw was Doctor walking out of glowing TARDIS. <laughs> oh, I'm warm. There we go. <laughs> okay then, so Voyage of the Damned yeah. was an episode. I'm a little bit... Yeah, kind of... Well, we had a lot of familiar faces. Yeah, uh, Bernard Cribbins. Yes, great to see him in this. Jeffrey um, Palmer. Yeah. Um, he didn't quite recognise. <laughs> we had talked about him recently. Yeah, we though. have. Uh, yeah. He died not all that long ago, but he was he's kind of famous in Doctor Who for not being in the story for very long and then his character dying. That's his thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's crazy to have actors that... That was in that era of Doctor Who in Doctor Who now. <laughs> I know it's it's yeah it's great yeah. Um, oh, and, and Bernard Cribbins of Bernard course. Bernard Cribbins, <laughs> Carry On Jack, you know. And Doctor 19... Who, and the Doctor Who Daleks Invasion Earth twenty one fifty AD. That too, yeah. That's <laughs> Doc. Oh, Doctor Who makes sense. As Tom Campbell. Yeah, that was his name. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it's a shame we don't have the reaction for that. We've got it. It exists, but, but every, I can't upload it. No, <laughs> can't put it on YouTube. Um, towards the end, I kind of started to pick up on a little, yeah, thing with the Doctor. Right. Specifically related to the fact that, you know, obviously he tries to save as many people as possible, but right. ends up not, mm -hmm. you know, it's him dealing with that. Yeah, and talking a lot about being, you know, on his own and all that. Oh, yeah. You know, like... Again, it's kind of getting into the fact that he has, like, you know, these different companions and then they go away, you know, it's like Doctor's kind of starting to question maybe something along those lines. Yeah, I, I don't think in, that it's anything we haven't already seen before in the new series. Like, I think it's very similar in theme to Runaway Bride in that respect, where we see him um, alone and trying to deal with that, having just lost Rose. Okay, I suppose, but, like... Uh, 
Yeah, it's just that we're a little bit further in, so, you know, maybe it's starting to wear on him more. Hmm. Perhaps. You know, like, you know, he has that outburst, I can do anything, you know, he's really trying to hang in there. <sighs> yeah, it's very similar to a lot of episodes that we've had yeah. so far, like End he of the World, yeah. and... Uh, Oh, well, we kind of mentioned Robots of Death in passing, but not really. That's what the robots, uh, the hosts, are based on. Yeah. Definitely. Like, okay. for sure. Like, I would be very surprised if there wasn't a line I missed in there that there was a sort of, like, says that they're in the same galaxy or from the same galaxy or something. Uh, I don't think they are like identical. <laughs> Again, Robots of Death was some a while ago, ago, so... Yeah, and that's when we do have the video. <laughs> yeah. And of course, this time I we, we picked up on Blake Seven references as well, <laughs> potentially, which I never would have spotted before. Potentially, but yeah, no, they those, have to be those bracelets. Yes. and the bracelets. Yeah, okay, now I know what you're saying. Yes, information. Yes, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, Russell T Davies wrote this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he would have watched Blake Seven. I'm sure of it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. A lot of the episode did just kind of consists of like you know the escape i guess it's based like on a movie called i don't know i can't remember what it's called it's based on a disaster movie which is a has a very similar concept <laughs> what? i don't know what you mean yes what's it called uh the day after tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to think of a disaster I movie i don't yeah. think it's that one no um <laughs> No, yeah, obviously, yeah, the fact that it's set based around the Titanic, yeah. Um, no, no, well, right. it's it's based on a different horror movie, not Titanic, actually. This Actually, this got a lot of criticism from, like, to Titanic survivors. Did it? Yeah, because right. of, like, not treating it with respect for that subject matter. Mm, like, I don't know, that, that's something you don't really get, um, like, it's not always super important that it's like based around titanic it just has like a similar name yeah and a similar setup but exactly you know but yeah it doesn't have a terrible lot to do with uh i'm trying i'm gonna find the name of the movie the poseidon adventure oh i don't know i don't know that the actor playing mr copper Klaus swift who was in revelation of the daleks yes i recommend i might show it to you later but i really recommend reading the interview with him in Doctor Who magazine, ah. it's um, it's it's interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, what were we talking about? Like before the whole oh the themes, thing? yeah. So again, the, with the angels and the whole religious thing, where the Doctor's the flying up again. I'm like, we've done this. Don't. <laughs> what is the point? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm kind I mean... of really sick of religious things now. <laughs> and comparing the Doctor to God, like, hmm, mm. please stop now. We've we've done this. Yeah, there was a little bit of that with Astrid at the end. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of a celestial, you're gone forever, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's hard to describe how I feel about this episode. Yeah. You know? Mm. Because, um, well, the, I mean, there was, a, there was quite a cast of characters, you know? Yeah. There was, like... An established kind of you know, ensemble like the, cast. Ensemble, yeah, that we're meant to be kind of following, but it's like we don't really get to spend much time with them before the, everything starts going wrong. Yeah, and then you know, you know, it's like it's a very emotional episode, but because we didn't really spend that much time, you know, like I wasn't as kind of invested as perhaps it was. It feels hoping. very cold, I think. Hmm. Coming up, I think especially coming off Martha. Who we spent the whole season with. Yeah. So we just have no investment in anybody here. Exactly. I don't think the chemistry between David Tennant and Kylie Minogue is no. good. No. The, it, yeah. It's, it feels it's... cold, that relationship. Yeah. It, yeah. It feels cold and kind of. Yeah. Forced. Kind of forced that it has to be there to be the episode, you know? Um. Whereas, yeah, in like, you think back to Rose, you know, that first episode, it's like... After one episode, you're totally on board, because the episode focuses on just those two. Yes. And all of the deaths here are totally pointless. Mm. Um, well, especially uh, uh, the ones in the main cast, you know. Well, the two women. It's only the two women that die, isn't it, I think? Um, Banaka for latter. Cyborg. Yeah, the, 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 the one non-human-like character as well. That's brilliant. Um... 
but they both just sacrifice themselves for pretty well no reason. There's no reason why mm. just throwing that one off. The Doctor was about to hit it off. She does like, no, nope, I'm going to touch... Yeah. Right. I can't remember her name. Foon? Foon, yeah. I was trying to remember the Pretty like, the pointless death there. Astrid... She could mm. probably easily have jumped out. Um, well, again, they sacrificed themselves to... for no reason at all. <laughs> because it's the doc, totally because stupid. the doctor saved everyone. <laughs> so dumb. Mm. Um, yeah. And the, the, the humor didn't really land. It, no, most of the time, I think there was one thing the doc, the doctor had like a couple of, a couple of okay parts, but je- even he, you know, head pun. Yeah, it's like yeah, okay. The, oh, it really does that with the tooth is quite good. I like that. Where, you know, because in all the videos, his tooth goes bling. Yes. And then when he comes out. Does it in real life. It does it in real life. He's like, it really does that. That's <laughs> like, that. okay, fine. You, you hit one joke, fair, fine. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah. It's just a cold episode that is utterly miserable. I, how can you come away from this? On Christmas Day, God, oh, we oh. just watched Doctor Who. Yeah. And now I'm going to go and cry the, myself to sleep. <laughs> the guy, yeah, the guy who sold his shares, he was, you know, yeah, he was quite nasty. Yeah, you know? and then he, then what, Mr. Copper again has the line, if you could choose who lives and dies, that would make you a monster. What's Russell T. Davies saying about himself there? He literally could choose who lived or died. He wrote the episode. Is that a little meta moment where he's saying, I'm a monster? <laughs> He didn't have to do that. Wow. That, I don't know. That's, I what, mean, what's the message here? This is utterly miserable Pe- for no reason. I mean... Yeah, life is it, sucks. Life is unfair. <laughs> Deal with it. Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, I can agree with you that... I mean... Is I it, hate this episode, is in case it, you couldn't tell. <laughs> is it? I don't know if it would be trying to say something about the Titanic disaster. You know, I don't know the fact that a lot of people died. In I don't that. think it's that deep. Why would you do that? Why would it? Why? Why would you do this? I I don't know if we should be comparing this to Titanic films. You know, probably not. To try and I guess fill out that point, I've seen the Titanic film, and I've also seen there was one in the nineteen fifties as well. Right. Um, you know, they're both like obviously a lot more focused on like the real event of Titanic. Yeah. So. The whole point of that is, like, the, I guess, the loss and, you know, the characters as well. There's actual characters that are focused on. So, you know, but this doesn't have that, no. you know. Um, I really enjoy it... the shallow bits, like the Blake Seven references and just seeing some <laughs> of these actors. Yeah, that's, that's, for me, like, what I get out of this. Sure, just little details and cameos. Yeah. yeah. I think cold is actually the perfect way to describe it's cold this. and miserable. <laughs> Which is just what you want on Christmas. <laughs> what were you thinking, honestly? Yeah, even the Runaway Bride, which has the Doctor, like, yeah, committing genocide, kind of. Even that had, even that was a generally kind of fun episode. Yeah. And the, you know, and certain heavier story elements at least made a bit of sense considering yes. what had just happened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a, yeah, that was an enjoyable episode. I might have, it is. I might have slightly underrated it. You gave it an 8. No, I didn't. You did. I'm sure you gave one. I gave it a, I gave it like a 6.5. Yeah, I mean, I, I did, really did I Yeah, I did <laughs> think that Ragnos bit, you know, was quite a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um I think that probably held it back a that, little bit. That but... straddles the line though, but I think I think that manages it quite well. Mm. Cuz it's not very much of the episode and no. rather than making you miserable because it's killing characters the wrong characters it just makes you think more i think that in that one yeah, and rather than coming away feeling depressed and, and horrible and <laughs> yeah and be, but it's so much about the doctor yeah you know? i don't think i like this one okay. you know it's yeah. just you know i, I mean was know, that me did that did i do no i, I okay. was feeling like unsure I wasn't. No, it's not like I was enjoying it and then the talk okay. got us. No, no I that was, does happen. I sometimes it, do that. It does happen. I'm trying not to do. I know, and that's a that is a thing. You know, obviously, I <laughs> I still think Fear Her is fine. <laughs> I mean, at least that you know that had like uh, you know that had a story with like points to make, and yeah. it made it made them 
you know, pretty solidly, kind of, you know, the, at least the whole... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least I got something something out of that. Right. You know. Okay. Um, you know, but yeah, like, I mean, I could tell that you probably weren't, you weren't liking this. You know, you, you were very <laughs> stoic. It's yeah, not even twiddling exciting. your thumbs and <laughs> yeah, it feels like it should be. Yeah, you know, it's got the the it's got the blocks for a yeah for like an escape disaster story. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, we got across the bridge. You know, that's a stupid scene. <laughs> the the bloody baseball <laughs> hitting the. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and boring and miserable. Maybe people like like wrote in after Last of the Time Lords when the Doctor, <laughs> you know, yeah, when he did the floaty thing. They the, thought yes, the magic. We want Doctor. more Doctor floating and being like a god, please. That's what we like. So let's do it more. And the walking away from the explosion. Okay, that was that <laughs> I just was burst out laughing. Um, not, that was a bit out of place. Yeah, like yeah, I didn't hate it as I was watching it, yeah. but. But it didn't leave me like I watched an episode of Doctor. Yeah, you know, you just okay. Right. Yeah, Christmas special. Um, it's yeah. I mean, Murray Gold School is pretty good. Yeah, mu music was good, and aside from some of the effects, I thought the general set design was pretty pretty good. You know. I did uh, notice they them did... reusing quite a lot of sets of the interior of the Titanic when they're trying to like, climb through rubble. They reused a lot of things. Oh, I did they? Yeah. Okay, well, the, at least the individual bits, you know, themselves, in terms of the the design, was you yeah. know, fine. Um, yeah. And actually, honestly, for the first ten minutes up until the meteor of Votes crash, I think it is quite entertaining. Yeah, it's, you know, that's like, it's introducing you to everything... You know, before it... the plot happens, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, yeah, like it feels like Astrid should have had more character development, but it didn't. Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah, it's like um... or not gonna lie, maybe played by a stronger actor. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be said. Yeah, I didn't think I you know was very was that good in it. You know, maybe that's what it needed. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you know, um, but even then. There wasn't. There was barely any scenes with her, mm -hmm. even though she's in it for like the whole thing. Apparently, there's cyborg racism in this time. In that, like, it, well, th yeah. they were all. That wasn't any. That wasn't a human ship. They were all from a planet called Stowe. Stowe. So it's yeah. different planet, not Earth. Yeah, you know, like that was a thing with Banner. Banner Capilato. Yeah, Banner Capilato, and also Max. I don't know. I thought that was. I thought that was kind of interesting at first, the fact that it was, like, this, yeah, that they introduced this, the cruise liner company thing, yeah. you know. Again, it was like another, yeah, again, very similar to End of the World, where they're going to destroy the spaceship for money, Max and they've got shares like in Cassandra. all of the Yeah, very similar. It's all, it's identical villain and motive to Cassandra, really, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Um, I'm know. not sure what it was trying to say about that, because... Corrupt companies. No, I'm thinking more about like the material rewards if, of his goal, because at the end he got Rixton, who, although apologizes, ends by saying, "I'm rich now, hooray!" Yeah. No, that's not. That is not. Yeah, that is not exactly a great message. It's like everyone's dead, but at least I'm rich. But then also you've got Mr. Copper suddenly realising he's rich and we're supposed to be happy for him. Like, I don't really... You're sending such mixed signals about mm. material wealth bringing happiness here. What? What? It's so confused in its message. Ending the last scene with Copper felt so drawn out and long. Yeah. And it's like... Yeah, I don't know. There's also a thing about lying, you know? Like the... The Vanoff, Vanoff couple, is that what they're right, called? Right, okay. Yeah, you yeah. know, they like, they, I'm getting confused, yeah. The the overweight couple that got fat shamed quite a lot, again, mm. which is another Russell T Davies thing with the Slovene, and <laughs> uh, it's a trope that I hate. Mm, well, yeah. The, yeah, more, the more we talk about it, the more I'm finding things that I don't like, I've got to be honest. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's an unsatisfying jigsaw puzzle. Yes. I think there are there are small bits of it that I do like and that, that we have talked about um, but yes on the whole unsatisfying cold miserable confused yeah 
Yeah, I do. I feel if it does, I'm definitely underwhelmed. I think, Is it, mm. and the fact that it's a Christmas special. If it had been a normal episode and we hadn't had Christmas, and it was shorter, and it was shorter. The end of the world. <laughs> you'd get. You'd end up what? with the end of the world. Exactly. Re- rewatch the end of the world <laughs> instead. Yes, do that. I don't think that has a heartwarming Christmassy ending, though. Well, that's what yeah. I mean. Take out the whole Christmas thing. To have it not be a Christmas special. Oh, yeah. And you you end up with the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally right. Which Russell wrote as well. Which yeah. Russell T Davies also yeah. wrote. You watch the end of the world. Do that. Um, rewatch some Blake Seven. Rewatch Robots of Death. <laughs> Um, yeah, and Wild. go watch Jeffrey Palmer in the Silurians because he's great. Yeah, well, everyone dies in that too. That's got a bit of a downer ending. That's too. a bit bleak as well, isn't it? But it, but it's not supposed sense. to be. Yeah, and it's a good story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the mutants, because we like that as well. You'd really like the mutants, even though you can't remember a bloody <laughs> word of it. <laughs> you did like it. <laughs> Yeah. And go watch Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD. Yeah, that's actually... You know that's what? That's fun. That is you fun. You would watch that. You could watch that at Christmas. That's a fun movie. Yeah, yeah they're fun, they're comforting. You You've know. got jazz music. What more do you need? Daleks yeah. and jazz. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day you can release it on DVD. <laughs> can you imagine if we put our reactions on Blu-ray or box sets and had special features? Toby Haydoke, if you want to do <laughs> a special that... feature on the making of the our reaction videos, uh, a weekend, you're welcome to come and stay when coronavirus is over and do a weekend <laughs> with us. Yeah, because, I mean, we've been doing this for almost five years, you know? Watching, not reaction. Watching, yeah we've, yeah. we've been watching for almost five years. We've been doing the reaction videos for, like, three we both gave twos. Both gave it a two. I've given it a yellow two, which is disappointing. Right. So I think, like you said, there's there's the the blocks of a good story in there. Yeah. But not in the right order. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. I. Yeah. It gets a couple of points, you know, for some, for some of you know the usual like good you know sol- generally solid like technical stuff and David Tennant. You know, mm. but yeah, on the whole, it's it's yeah, it's really it is kind of disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's like you you had a good idea, and then you said, right, how can we like? What are all the worst decisions we can make here? <laughs> I know. Let's kill all of the good characters <laughs> pointlessly. Great, that's what people want to see on Christmas. Yeah, well, hopefully, uh, series four shall be better. Yeah, I mean. It's an entire series. Interesting so. fact, which might surprise you. This is the most viewed episode of the new series. <laughs> Came very close to being the most viewed ever. Ooh. I think. Which Let almost beat out... City of Death. Uh, I'm just looking at the cast list. Uh, the Queen, the voice of the Queen, was done by Jessica Martin, who played the werewolf in Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Oh! <laughs> I think it's the same Jessica Martin. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Mags, greatest show in the galaxy. <laughs> Brilliant. Interesting. Yeah. It's interesting that, uh, yeah, there's so many cameos and, you know, yeah, recognisable people in this. <laughs> yeah, the episode was criticised by Milvina Dean, the last survivor of the 1912 Titanic sinking, mm. who said, The Titanic was a tragedy which tore so many families apart. I lost my father and he lies on that wreck. I think it's disrespectful to make entertainment of such tragedy. I, yeah, I I mean, it's, especially considering the nature of this story, yeah. you know, like, and it, and it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, again, it doesn't really make you think about the Titanic itself, you know? Yeah. Which, again, at least with other Titanic media, you kind of realise that, you know, that it was a big tragedy, but this... This, yeah, didn't really have to no, say No, it that. was just the name of the ship, really. Yeah, it, it was a reference. Yeah. That's another thing. This was dedicated to Verity oh, Lambert. It was dedicated to Verity Lambert, You yes. know, who is responsible for the show existing in the first place. Yeah. You know. Yeah, she was the producer oh. of, like, the first ever 
season, yeah. and I think uh, another one after that, or more seasons. Yes, I think she did up to the Space Museum, maybe. Okay. I think she may have ducked out after, before the Web Planet or something. Okay, that would make sense. <laughs> I don't know if she did the Web Planet. It was either mm. one before or one after, I don't know. Yeah. Around that that time. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice that they dedicated an episode to her. Because oh, yeah, she's of course. pretty well responsible for <laughs> putting it on and then getting it keeping going as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Murray Gold and Ben Foster, who who is the conductor for the BBC Wales Orchestra, yeah, were both had cameos in the band, so that was oh. them. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have spotted that. Oh, they, I don't know what. Oh no, we we've, we've seen Murray Gold in some of the special features. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Doctor Who magazine placed um, Astrid's death as the Doctor Who's all-time greatest death scene. I mean, it was made a big deal out of. <laughs> yes, maybe the most overdramatic death scene, but I'm not sure about the greatest. Mm. <laughs> Definitely not. In terms of impactful. Adrix. Yeah, that's the... Wait, hold on. I'm getting confused. That's a death scene. No, what I... It was literally impactful. You... Oh, you... <laughs> no... But I actually care about that one. Yeah, I know, exactly. Well, that's the point, isn't it? Yes, that's what I was trying to say. I'm not good at putting words together sometimes. But, but again, one more time. Cold is the best way to describe it. I just didn't really know how to feel throughout the whole thing. Okay. You know, and it's not something I particularly watch again. And it's so... Yeah, it's so long as well. It's so, too long. For an episode. It's, it's Yeah. I, it's not the longest, is it? Five Doctors. Well, I don't... I can... Uh, the TV that, movie. <laughs> that's a full-on film, yeah. though. Um, but I'm thinking more so like The Christmas Invasion and Runaway Bride. I can't remember. I think they are maybe slightly shorter. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We'll start Series 4 soon. Yeah. Probably next week, possibly. Outro. Outro.